I'm gonna show you how you can connect Telegram to make.com in under two minutes. Let's get started. So you're inside of make.com and the first thing you need to do is create a new scenario. Then from here, you have your first trigger and we're just gonna go ahead and search for Telegram and we want this instant acid trigger, which is watch updates, which is going to trigger automatically every time a new message comes in from Telegram. Now, all we have to do is click create a webhook. We want to add to add a new connection. And right here, we wanna name our connection. We can call this TG YT demo for the Telegram YouTube demo, and we need a token. So in order to get that token, we want to come over to Telegram and come into search, and we want to search for Botfather. So we can just go ahead and search for the Botfather. It's this one here with the check. We can go ahead and type the slash to create a new bot. We want to name the new bot, and we're just going to call this TGYT demo to be consistent. And now it says, let's choose a username for your bot, and it must end in bot. And so we want to call it, we'll just call it the same thing, TGYT demo, and we'll go underscore bot. Now we've created a new bot successfully here and it gives us the token that we need right here. So this is the API key, this is the token. We're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna copy this address. We're gonna paste that into the connection inside of make.com. It's creating a webhook for us. Might take a second. Go ahead and click save. And then from there, we just wanna make sure we've selected the new connection so we can come in here and we can just rename the webhook to TGYT demo. We want to make sure we've selected our new bot down in the connection down here. So let's go ahead and click save. Now we see this is successfully updated here. Now I'll click save again. And now what we can do is we can click run once. And if we come back into Telegram, you can access the bot by going to the link that it gave you. Go ahead and click start. And you can see we have the new bot here. And this took a little bit too long for me to send a message. So let me just come back and click start and say, hey, 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 what up? And I'll go ahead and click send. And now you can see we have a new message received. We can come into the message from here. We can go into chat. And we can see the text here that says, hey, 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 what up? Now you can do all sorts of things from here. One thing I will recommend doing for your own privacy and safety, and so no one else has access to your chat, is anything that you want to do in between here, I recommend just adding a filter. And we can say, my chat, question mark. Basically, what you want to do here is you want to come into message, and you just want to go down to from. And you want to make sure that the ID is equal to, and this is going to be a number operator. We wanna go into equal to. We can just go ahead and type in the number from our own personal chat, 288760. And so now anytime a message gets sent, if it's not from your chat, it's gonna get filtered out immediately so nobody else has access to your bot. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and check out this video up here where I show you how to automate your entire LinkedIn workflow start to finish. I'll see you over there.